Tarsis Sinzi is famous in Rwanda for his black belt in karate, but also for having helped 118 people escape the massacres of the genocide against the Tutsis. He also was one of the plaintiffs in a trial in France of a former Rwandan policeman sentenced to life imprisonment for crimes against humanity in 2023. It was a good ruling, but foreign countries contributed by pursuing a little late. Suspects had time to change names with the help of countries that received them. They had a chance to hide. Millions of survivors are still frustrated by the slow pace of justice for fugitives who fled abroad. Rwanda has issued over a thousand international arrest warrants. France says it is now working on 40 cases. Only seven people have been convicted in Paris to date. There is an acceleration of these rulings. Every year there are defendants who are tried and others who are already scheduled to be tried for the following year. These advances are the result of a long fight partially initiated by Gassan and Doba. In July 1994, just as the massacres were ending, he filed the very first complaint in Europe against a suspect in Belgium. It was really the very beginning. At that time, we wondered if we would ever see results. He now says he is pleased with the convictions obtained in Europe over the past 30 years. Survivors are determined to keep up the pursuit of justice. We are not discouraged and we do not intend to be demoralized by time passing. A number of major perpetrators of the genocide are still at large. The responsibility lies with the countries that host them, of which some should be capable of locating and judging them. Three decades later, Gassana continues his battle. He's a plaintiff in several trials of alleged genocide perpetrators scheduled in France and Belgium this year.